left the anchorage uh, today and we're just making our way to Sag Harbour. Um, it's about 10, uh, it's about 15 miles, so um, shouldn't take us too long. Uh, not much wind, so as usual, we're probably going to be motoring. Wow, it's absolutely beautiful here. There's loads of little islands and loads of little secluded anchorages, really calm. So cute and so many boats as well. Yeah, so where do you want to anchor? So there's, we can anchor behind these, these two boats here, I think that's deep enough for us. Or there's a mooring field, or we can all anchor on the other side of that, yeah. which I is mean, further out. I think that's where Georgia actually is living, behind there, but I think to get her and to bring her tomorrow, I think we need to be nearer the town. That would be easier, actually. Yeah, you're going into three and 4.3 route. It's three there, so I'd be yeah. careful. But there it's saying three, so we need to be really careful that it's not actually... Yeah, but that's low tide, so... Yeah. I need to go over to the right a little bit. I'm more. just thinking maybe we spun round, and three is there as well. Yeah. Well, let's just poke our nose in and see what depth it is. Wow, it's absolutely gorgeous. Wow, you can tell where everybody comes to the Hamptons. Absolutely stunning. Right here. Yep. It's literally like the M25. So many boats. We were just wondering if here we're going to be a little bit rocky because of all the traffic going in and out. But maybe it will stop later on tonight when, when it's dark. Uh, let's just see how tenable it is with how tenable? Tenable. Ooh, how tenable? Wow, that is an absolute beast over there, isn't it? It's full black. I mean, I'm not sure whether I like it that dark because you can't see anything. No. Like at night time, it will just blend into the darkness and then you go straight yeah. slap bang into the side of it. We were clearly giddy with excitement to be here as we had been looking forward for this for such a long time. But with the number of boats going in and out of Sag Harbour, we decided to move to the more protective anchorage because the last thing we wanted was a sleepless night. The next day, we headed into town to meet my beautiful and amazingly talented friend, Georgia Louise. I can't believe I've, I haven't been on your boat in it's like three years. And I haven't even, I don't even know what your boat looks like. I know. I don't know if it's a dinghy or if it's like a real boat. I don't know how many feet. Are you ready it's to not a super feet, yacht, Georgia. It's not a super yacht. Okay. So this is the wonderful Georgia Louise. She's one of the top facialists possibly in the world. These Aww. hands, magic hands, are not only magic, they're worth millions. <laughs> Yeah, she are, has a salon, or should I say an atelier, atelier in New York. And LA. And LA. Mm -hmm. And she's set up from absolutely nothing. Ready for my facial. She's like, literally only wants me because she wants a facial on the Yeah, that's, that's the only reason. <laughs> that's the only reason. <laughs> that's the only reason. <laughs> I'm here. Are you safe? Yeah, of course. Are you sure? Of course. Okay, do you get seasick? Yeah, I do actually. Oh, God. <laughs> well, it's, it's very calm here in the Hamptons. I mean, it's... It's so lovely. This is like a perfect day for it as well. Perfect. Right, let's get let's going. Let's get going. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Georgia, you're in the orange one. What do you mean, Emily? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, we'll see you in about two hours. How do you sit? How do you sit? Right. Right. <laughs> you don't fit six people you in there. You can fit six people no, in there. No, never. I never said six I'm not people. Fit in that. <laughs> Get in there. Hold in a second. I can't sit in that. Your bags are first. I love Georgia. This is. In fact, maybe. I put it over. And then no. <laughs> <laughs> just stand in it, it's not going to tip over. Are you sure? Yeah, just stand just, in the middle. Just stand in the middle. Stand no, you won't. Just you and stand. kneel down, kneel down, kneel down, kneel down. Um, <laughs> you did really well. What did I, I, I actually fell on the tender. How am I going to get on the boat? the tender's tender. Oh my god, the tender's really tender. What about your one? This is ours, here we go. Yeah, you did alright, mate. I did alright. Yeah. So, you might want to hold. You hold that. It's right. really wet, but yeah. <laughs> These hands weren't cut out for raping babes. Okay. I'm going to change out my dress, but first and foremost, I needed a George Louise rose water. Oh, oh. God, that feels so good. I'm literally sweating in my pockets. <laughs> Why am I wearing this <laughs> dress? I need to be wearing it. Babe, you've got long like sleeves you. on as well. Hey, G. Hi. Hi. So nice. I'm getting in the nice breeze. So this lovely to so have nice. you. This is so nice. Here she comes. 
Oh, well, this is very south of France, isn't, isn't it? it does. Yeah, it's south of France. Yeah, like All the way from the south of France. Provence, baby, my darling. So happy to be in Bois. I can't believe this, the moment's actually here. I know. Like three years. And here's to getting marked out next weekend. Yeah, well, my... <laughs> I'll go back. I know some of you always comment on my babushkas, or I think someone commented babushka, of a babushka. all my hats. It's evidently a word for like hats and scarves and, and things that I wear all the time. Oh. And the reason why I do that is because of this wonderful lady, Georgia Louise. Wear a hat, you listen. I can't always. tell you how many times I rock up at a boat. Well, actually, I might say beach. <laughs> Not boat, I don't really do boating. And I don't see many people wearing a sun hat. It's no. like the simplest thing. Prevent getting melasma, sun damage, pigmentation from the sun. It's the easiest thing to do. Yeah. But it has to be a wide rim hat. Yeah. It has to be one of those ones. Yeah. But it's not like a basketball hat. And know? that's why I wear so many hats. To keep your skin healthy. One thing we didn't realise was the strength of the current and it was incredibly difficult swimming back to the boat, almost to the point where none of us could make it back. James and I hadn't shared the boat with anyone from back home since COVID began, so having Georgia was really a special time for us. Did you just get picked up? Yeah, but it's not Which way <laughs> and then he saw you and was like, oh, I just tried oh, to I know, I had so many people like, waving me. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> and I, it was like, oh, sorry, no, oops, bye. <laughs> right, we should maybe get going if we've got to get Georgia back, because yeah. it's probably an hour from oh, here. That's so sad. We've had such a lovely day, haven't we? I know, it's been, it's been really absolutely good, stunning. I'm lucky because I'm going to see Georgia tomorrow. Oh, yeah. you're going to New York. You're going to come back on the boat with the kiddies. I mean, yeah, you are with Mark. Yeah, definitely. It's a lovely boat, babe. Darling, do you want to pull in the anchor and I'll. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. It's not black, it's not white, it's from Australia, so it's not strong but still really tasty. It's an appetizer, but it, it can easily be a main thing because it's rich and uh, so. so much pressure. <laughs> So it's Saturday morning now, um, 24 hours before the hurricane's due to hit. We've basically stayed put. Um, all four weather models we looked at were different. Some were showing the storm gonna be, was well, the hurricane closer to New York. Um, some were showing it directly on top of us. Some were showing it um, to the east of us. So we've decided to take a really big mooring ball here. Um, I went and spoke to the yacht yard and they've given us a mooring that the super yachts go on. Um, so I think it's like two or three thousand pound weight and then it's got a second pennant on it as well. Um, all chain, big thick ropes. So um, there's not really much chance. I don't think that that's gonna drag or snap or anything um, as long as we sort of control any chafing. Um, so that's the plan. We're staying put, you know, I don't think it's worth heading to New York 
if one of those models is correct and we end up just sailing into it, sailing closer to where it's going to hit. Um, at least here we're in a big open space, it is fairly protected um, and we've got a really really strong mooring so if things get really hairy and we want to leave the boat, get off the boat, we can do. Um, I'd be reluctant to do that if we're at anchor. You know there's that thing where they say safety in numbers, well because the bay's empty I don't feel very safe. <laughs> feeling very nervous very nervous I'm not gonna lie this is something that you just don't know what to think because everybody's doing something different as you can see the whole bay on this side is pretty much empty the problem with going into the lee of the land over there is the fact that if you're not big and if you're anchor is only a certain length then you risk pulling into deep water and then you're just floating in the middle of the sea because it's really shallow and then deep over there so unless you're a big boat you're not probably going to stand a chance um, many boats have headed towards new york but two of the apps at least are saying that around new york that's where it's going to hit the hardest the other two apps say it's this area so, but yeah, I don't want to be on the boat. What do you want to do? Well, if you don't want to be on the boat, the only option is the mooring ball because I don't think it's, it, we can't anchor and leave the My boat. My heart is racing like anything. I've got such anxiety. I didn't sleep very well last night. I had a few cocktails, which helped me get off to sleep and then I woke <laughs> up again with the stress. Well, look, let's, let's get on, let's move the boats. We need to take the bimini down. We've got a whole plan. Uh, yeah. of what we've got to do for this hurricane. We've got to take the, the bimini down, we've got to take the dodger down, we've got to secure the sails, lash everything down, basically take everything off the deck. The problem as well is that you might say, okay, well, could you not have gone somewhere different? But the only place we could go to is New York. The problem with heading out around the corner is that's where the hurricane is. So if we go around the corner, that's where it's coming up to. We just won't make it in time to actually get out of here. So we're totally stuck like the other boats here, yeah. But, uh, over a day ago we were looking at this, but the models were so varied that going to New York was a, was a, maybe a good play. But I don't but think that's a then good play the now. Thing, at the moment, the thing's moving further and further west. So we on could have, two apps, on the other two well, apps, Well, yeah, but, but even, even, on the main, even on the main weather forecast, it's moving further west. So it's still a way off. It still could end up being further west. Okay, so we're coming along nicely. It's a little bit weird to be seeing the boat looking like this. We haven't seen her look like this since we bought her, which was three years ago. She looks naked. Wow, James and I are absolutely exhausted. It's four o'clock. So it is 12 hours until the hurricane is meant to hit. It's meant to hit at 4 a.m. We just heard from a friend of mine, Georgia. Thank you very much, Georgia, for the info. Her friend is a meteorologist and he said that the hurricane is going to be bad and um, we should brace ourselves for the worst. So we're pretty much there on the boat. We've taken the anchor off and we've lashed it down here so it's really tight. Bimini has come off, cushions have come off. We've strapped everything down up there with cable ties. And as you can see from the bay, it's really empty now. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten boats maybe. And normally there's like 150 boats minimum just in the bay. Many have gone over there now for safe 
which, well, what they think will be a safe place to anchor. We don't want to go on the anchor though, because if we pull, uh, we could drag over somebody else's and that would be a real issue. James is just coming back now. He's been on Mike's boat, helping him out with his anchor. This is a very, very scary day. I don't think I have stopped shaking since yesterday when we knew that it was gonna be hitting here. Um, yeah, I can't really describe the feeling right now to think that we might leave here in a few hours and we might come back to absolutely nothing. The harbour master just came round to check on us, just to say that we, what are we doing? What are our plans? Uh, he said, yes, yeah, it's, it's very wise that you don't stay on the boat. Um, oh my God. After hearing how concerned the harbour master was for our safety, we decided to go ashore, but it was 5 p.m. and we had nowhere to go. I spent the next hour frantically calling hotels in the area. I managed to find somewhere with a room, but it was almost an hour and a half away. It's been a really, really, really stressful day. And that's us out there, we're just leaving her. I will never forget that feeling looking back across the abandoned stretch of water. Such a contrast from the sunny, carefree atmosphere of just two days ago. The buzzy bay now looming in grey cloud and an eerie quiet as Henri prepared to hit its 120 mile per hour swirl. Next time. Aboard Equus, we wait out at the hotel and watch as Hurricane Henri hits. James makes the most of the breakfast bar, I make the most of the gym, and we head back to Equus to assess the damage. <laughs>